Hi there Photoshop users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. This video tutorial is going to cover the color range method of selecting. It is really neat and you're going to like it. Okay, so let's go up to the select menu down to color range. And what we've got is sample colors. You can click on here and you can just, just sample different colors and they'll be selected. We don't want to do that. We, we're going to use the highlights, midtones and shadows starting with the shadows. So I click on that, you can see all the shadows are selected. Click OK and you can see the marching ants are everywhere now. So what I want to do is put them on their own layer. So I'm going to do Control or Command J and they're on their own layer over here. Now if I turn this eyeball off, this is the result. These are the only things that were selected and they are called shadows. Now what I can do is I can modify them by themselves. So I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer and you can see this histogram stretches from left to right so I don't want to be messing with these two because there's a bit of clipping here and here already so I don't want to mess with that but I can I can just brighten the shadows up a bit if I want I could brighten them up a whole lot I can make it really look awful now the, the default for this number here is 1.0 and I think I'm gonna just take it a little off the one bit, bit below a bit above there so I've just opened up the shadows just a bit. Just this is for demonstration purposes only. Okay. So, but the whole image has been uh, modified. We're gonna have to fix that. Well, you fix that by clipping this to this, much like you clip a picture to a piece of paper, and um, and, and that picture goes with that paper. So we're gonna clip this to this. We're gonna press the Alt key, move our pointer right up between the two, and you see it changes that funny little thing there, and just tap or click. And now the only thing that have been that are being affected by this levels adjustment layer are the selections that were made here. So if I turn this off, you can see how it changes it. Okay, so that's the hard part. Okay, so let's go back down to here. Let's go to select color range. Let's whoops, I don't want I'm in the wrong place. There we go. Midtones. So these are all the midtones here. Click OK, and you can see there's a lot of midtones. As you can see in the histogram, there's a lot of midtones here. So what I'm going to do is Control or Command J to put them on their own layer. We'll turn off these two and just see what we've got. Okay, so these are the midtones. Now, really, what I want to do in this image is I want to darken the sky because this was one of those days in Las Vegas where it rained and you had these big black clouds back there, and behind me was the sun, and you can actually see the shadows right here. Uh, so there was sun behind me. This was brilliant. This was brilliant. The end of the Bali was brilliant and the sky was dark, dark, dark. So I want to make the sky dark, dark, dark again. So I'm going to add a levels adjustment layer and I am going to just move the midtones and make it dark. Dark, 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 dark. Okay. So that's nice and dark. Now I'm going to clip this to this. So press the Alt key, get in close. There. So now only the midtones have been affected, but it has caused us a bit of a, a different problem. And there's midtones in other places that I really didn't want to modify. So how are we going to fix that? Well, we're going to turn off the background. These are the midtones that I've that I've been working with. So I'm going to go right here on this layer. I'm going to grab my eraser, and I'm going to erase what I don't want to be modified. And this is just a quick job. And get up and around the balloon. Tell you what, I'm just gonna pause this for a minute or so and finish this off and I'll come back. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so I just got this little bit left to do in the uh, um, in the tower. Get rid of that. And then we can just double click on the hand tool get back to 100 or fill the screen view and I guess I could take those balconies off but I don't want to worry about it so double click here gives you back there so that's what we've got now okay so let's put this back on the background oh that's a bit different so now we've got this nice dark 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 sky and let's look at the shadows there's the shadows there bright a bit so it's coming along nicely so let's go back down here and do the last one the highlights now the only highlight really that I want is this up here. 
So we're going to do pretty much the same thing. So OK, Control Command J, put a levels adjustment layer on top of it, and we're going to brighten it up. OK. Now we're going to clip this to this by doing our little clipping trick. There we go. Now, again, what we've got here are some highlights that we don't want that have been modified. See this yellow stuff here? And that is easy to get rid of very quickly. So I'm just going to get, whoops, get onto the right layer. Get that off. And we will be left with only that little piece of sky up there, that bright piece where the sun was shining on it. You see the tower had some, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so we'll go there. There. This, this, and that's our image. So let's take a look at before and after. So to do that, you put your, uh, press the Alt key, tap on the background, that's the before, and that's the after. So I like the change. I don't know if you like the change, but I do. Um, this is going to be used as a uh, black and white conversion tutorial, this picture. So I wanted to get it right. So that's how you do a color range. There's other things you can do with this uh, with this dialog as well. And just let me set up and I'll show you a couple other things because we've got a minute or so we can work with. Okay, here's an image. It's taken from the images out of Photoshop in a day. It's uh, um, a book you can buy through my site. It's really a great training. Uh, done by a fellow named Duncan over in England. Okay, I want to change the color of this tractor. So let's go to Select Color Range, and we're going to say Sampled Colors this time. So I'm just going to click on the tractor. So everything that's that kind of like that color is selected, and the fuzziness is the farther down the less it goes, the higher, the more it selects in that right area. So if we kind of go there, we're about right. Got most of the tractor. Okay, so and you can see it's got a bit of the road, but uh, we can use our our selector to get rid of that. Our negative one. There, that's gone. There. Okay, so we're not going to be changing the color of the road. Okay, so put a hue and saturation layer above this. And now change the hue. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So you can uh, change it any color you want. We can have a green tractor, a purple, yellow, pink. I mean, there's just no end of, of things we can do. Um, green, and we can change its saturation to make it ridiculously saturated or desaturated. Uh, make it darker, lighter. The only thing that's being affected is the, um, the, the selection, and the selection was made with color range. So that's what you can do with Color Range. It is a really cool select, selection tool. Give it a try. You'll really like it. Um, with the uh, one we did previously, the Eiffel Tower, you don't have to do all three. You could just do one. If you just wanted to make the background, uh, the mid-tones, uh, the sky dark, leave everything else exactly the same, that's all you have to do. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I hope you find it useful and helpful in your digital editing projects. So come on to pay a visit to my site, www.the-graphics-tablet.com, of course. Um, you can see it's up here, and uh, we'll see you on the next tutorial. I appreciate your visit and the time you spent watching this video and visiting my site. Thanks. Bye now.